and five, four, three, two. What up, y'all? Over here, thing. I'm Kevin on stage. She. The chick angel. We're gonna do another podcast episode. Smash that like button. Smash the notification bell. Church announcements real quick. LA, this Monday, as I live and breathe, Kev on stage and friends will be happening. We got Tony Baker, Marcella Aguayo. We got um, rising star Gigi, Lafla Gigi LaFlair, her first performance ever in LA. We have Terrence Delane, and we have Detroit's finest, Keisha E. Pull up, there's probably like 100 tickets or so left as 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 i record this right now for the patreon so by the time you see it if you're not on the patreon there'll be less than that uh gonna be this monday burbank uh flappers oh yeah flappers comedy show F flappers flappers comedy club then next friday march 1st here's the thing tour will be in chicago what tickets are selling only. well one night only downtown Chicago, we're having a funky good time on the road. Check our Instagram for clips. Uh, the Bangers, 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 Bangers Challenge is up for grabs. Collins LA, I believe, coming. is in the week. Kanye the week. West will not be there. St. Nashville? Louis? Nashville? Yeah, St. Louis did terrible. Yeah, Nashville's in the lead. Nashville's in the lead. Nashville's in the lead, uh, but there's still a chance to win. Remember, we don't say one. It's here's the thing. Five, four, three, two. Welcome. What up, y'all? Welcome. Here's three, the thing. I'm Kevin on stage. She's. That Angel, you. what you got going on in your life? Feel free to check out my short film, Look Back at It, is now available on the YouTube. It's a good watch. Also, voting is still open, guys. We're still out here voting every day. NAACP Image Awards. Please vote for this podcast for Outstanding Art, Sports, and Entertainment Podcast. And vote for me for Social Media Personality of the Year. You can vote every day. All of your email addresses for that category specifically. And those are my church announcements. All right. First thing on the docket, Saeed Robin said, first weekend of Churchy on BT Plus. Are we going to get a Churchy soundtrack? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Put that stuff out. Uh, legal? Working on it. We're working on opportunities, but I don't want to promise you nothing. Uh, people are asking for a season two. I appreciate that. You better. You got season two at home. It's called season one. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Continue to run it up if it's your first week. Uh, if you download a BET Plus just to watch Churchy, I appreciate you. I could not even repost all the clips and tweets and videos. Uh, what's happening is great. Is people are sending me, people are like finding Churchy who aren't even fans of mine. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh man, that guy is, that guy's kind of funny. This show is cute. And they're not like Kev, this, Kev, that. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's great. Obviously, it starts off with a stage crew. Shout out to the Patreon. Y'all was going crazy. Shout out to people who watched it on the app for the first time. It's a different show on BET Plus. It is. It's trimmed and, and tighter. Also, if you got that free subscription, that seven days is coming up. Yeah, run it. it up. Run it twice. Run it, run it thrice. My mother has thoroughly been enjoying it. I've been running it on my laptop in the hotel room. I've been watching it. It's a good show. You could watch the whole season in about one Shannon Sharp interview. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I meant to make that video. I literally did up the math. And the Monique interview and the ch whole churchy season are only about 15 minute difference. You could watch the whole season twice for as much as what the TF, who the TF did I marry. I was going to oh, say, you could have watched it a few times actually. Who TF did I marry? Let me tell you what people, people love to say that our attention spans are down. Mm -mm. People don't watch the end of the day. Some good tea. If you want, if something is interesting enough, people will watch it yes. to the end. Josh sent me a Maverick City song because I know a lot of songs are like less than three minutes. Maverick City would be like strip music, stripper music. eight minutes, bro. Nine minutes. Strong. Not easy. Mm. Eight minutes is a short Mav you, City song. You think the song's almost over and it's, it's not even halfway. Yeah, I think there are things that are very short, but people will watch things that are long if they are entertained by them. Shannon Sharp, Monique, and Cat Williams, I watched all three hours of those. They were longer than the color purple. So, Angel, you were just finishing up Who TF Did I Marry? Would you like to set it up for the people who Let's have no idea what we're up. talking about? I actually, I've watched 42 of the 52 mm. uh, actual videos. It's kind of painful after a while, but 
Uh, did push, you watch it on 2X speed? You got to watch it on 2X I, speed. I did. Once we got past 10, I sped it up to 1.5. 2X, oh. it was hard to understand what she was saying. Yeah. And I was like, I don't want to keep rewinding and figuring out. <clears throat> Long story short, a, a TikToker by the name of Tisa Risa, or Risa Tisa, is one of Risa Tisa, um, she decided to uh, let us in on a life that she lived during the pandemic with a man who is a pathological liar, and I'm sure there is other other ways to describe him. She met him on March the 7th of 2020 via Facebook. They had actually also met across an app, uh, but he had a different name on that app. Mm. Anyways, uh, on their first date, she actually blew a flat tire. He met her at the gas station. And I guess from there it was love at first sight. <laughs> because swiftly after that. Taylor the, swiftly. <laughs> okay. And not only did the world shut down because of the pandemic, uh, they decide to quarantine together because she doesn't want to quarantine by herself. And um, he lived in a studio apartment. She lived in a three bedroom townhouse. So he was like, well, I'm quarantining at your place. So he moved in uh, a few months, of course. a few months after that. Uh, she well, they and they are having conversations about marriage early on pretty fast. It's like very you will feel like you're in a time warp and then you realize no only a couple of weeks passed. Mm -hmm. Um in May um she finds out she's pregnant. Oh. Yes. Now mind you she's a church girl so she was struggling with a lot of this. One having a man move in with her that mm. wasn't her husband. I don't know if she was struggling with the sex or not, but regardless they She pushed through though. <laughs> <laughs> Whether she struggled or not, she, she she seemed to have pushed through. She pushed through. Um. So once she got pregnant, they were really like, okay, it's time to purchase a home. Now, mind you, some of his career choices he he was apparently a previous arena football player. Oh, Star. professionally, professionally. Wow. And uh, I don't know if you know this, but in his mind, they make a lot of money. The arena league. Yeah. AFL. AFL. Not the rocks league. Yeah, AFL makes a lot of money to the point that he has overseas accounts. Oh, he's over in uh, where the overseas be? Grand uh, Cayman, Switzerland. Switzerland. Uh huh. He got all of those. Grand Cayman offshore accounts. He's got a Chase bank account, a U.S. bank account, and offshore because I that mean, makes sense. That's obviously a third place to go. Yes. Um. So, uh, first, uh, one of the very red, big red flags that were put up in front of her that she chose to move to the side mm -hmm. was um, they were looking at a house. He said that he sent in the offer. She didn't know cash. much about uh, cash no, money. We, baby. Had, we hadn't got to the cash offer. Yet. Straight cash. No, we hadn't got there. Okay, yet. Hadn't he, got. Had a, he had a pre-approval letter from Chase. He's liquid, right? He had a pre-approval <laughs> letter that he could get a house for 700 K. And she said, can you afford 700 K? She doesn't know his finances like that, but she says he's taking care of her bills. Currently, I mean, the house. I mean, so um, she said that they, uh, yeah, he had a uh, he had approval letter from Chase Bank. He she said I sent in the offer, and the the house is under contract. The offer was accepted. She goes online to check. It does say the house is under contract. So she's like, oh my god, because she's not in communication. Then there was all these like hiccups, all these things. We didn't do inspection. We supposed to do inspection. Yada yada yada. The family's living in the house, so they can't go keep touring the house. <laughs> One day, finally, it says the house is sold. So oh, mind man. you, he said we ha can't close yet, but we will do a virtual closing. But we can't close yet. So she calls the realtor that's listed as the selling realtor, and she says, "What does this mean that the house is off the market?" And she said, "Oh, we sold it." And she was like, oh, okay. And she gets, she asked the question for the person to tell her it was an older white couple. So she knows it wasn't sold to them because they're not an older white couple. Mm, not and she white. says the, the, that her intuition or the Holy Ghost told her he is going to lie to get out of this. Oh, mm. she didn't listen to HG? And she made up in her mind, I'm going to let him out of this lie. Oh. So she goes to him and it's like, what's going on with the house? And he said, ah, the realtor said, that the, it's something going on with the APR. Mm. <laughs> that APR going to get you every time. Something going on with the APR. You know how APRs be going. You're supposed to lock in the rate yeah. early on with your earnest money or your 20% down. You ain't something. locking in. The APR be going crazy. Something wrong with APR. <laughs> and so she said, you know what? We should let the house go. If the APR ain't right, let it go. So Because she's like, we can go ahead and dead this lie if I let you out of it. <laughs> 
Um, fast forward, unfortunately, she ended up uh, having a miscarriage. Mm. Um, they, throughout the year, are looking at about 25 houses in this whole little little double dutch of we we're gonna put in an offer yada, right because you got the pre-approval letter all you got to do is tell them what the address is apparently pre- pre-approval letters in atlanta last for about a solid year and a half <laughs> strong okay solid year and a half that's what I'm, I'm definitely leaving out details but it's the the biggest parts that i need y'all to understand mm. he proposes by just giving her a ring and said basically this is what you wanted you wanted to be my wife. Thank okay, you. Gino, will you marry me? <laughs> Are you happy now? <laughs> now, mind you, every morning she says he talks to his brother and his sister. This was wild. Every every day. Brother this on, on, the on the phone. On the phone. On the phone, though. Every day he talks to. He For talks like an to, hour, she said. Uh-huh. Every morning. Now, mind you, he said that his mother and father or his father had two sons before marrying his mother he had two older brothers that are half siblings mixed families two brothers that are by his mother and father and two sisters by his mother and father okay he said his grandmother died during the pandemic in 2020 okay god rest your soul so that's his family lineage that he lived in california and got a degree san diego's finest that, that's where his yeah. ex-wife and his ex-wife children were, because he has a the, she had a son and a daughter that he was very close to. Yeah. Get up out of there! <laughs> they get married in January. I'm, ass- I'm assuming at the Justice of Peace, <laughs> because she still has yet to meet any of his family members. The only person she met was his aunt over Zoom, I do believe. Well, Angel, yeah. when you know, you know. It's it's almost like you just gotta let Jesus take the wheel. Take the wheel, <laughs> Lord, because this is my man. My man, my, my man, man, my man. Thank you to my man. So then um, she finds some text messages in his phone uh, where he's sent pictures of, well, not text messages, I do believe this is Facebook Messenger. He, it's a lot of um, sexual innuendos that have mm. been going on for a minute. Now, mind you, this is in February she finds these. They just got married in January. <laughs> that doesn't sound say, like Legion. Yeah. <laughs> She didn't send pictures of his. He didn't send pictures of his penis. He's like, when you gonna come get this dick? Ah. She's like, when you gonna come get this puss? Oh, yeah. So they go to it. (laughs) Um, they go to marriage counseling. I am marriage counseling in the second month is is crazy. Who was like already? Already, we need to start it off because it's going downhill now. The pastor's wife was like, huh? Go talk to the lady now. Now, You're sending peen. Now, mind you, something I did skip in all all of those house buying situations. He began. He moved from I got a pre approval from Chase. That means you're getting a loan. Yeah, got a pre approval to all cash. Over take, asking. Listen, they said the APR was glitching. Let's take the APR out of it. All cash. Take Great this cash, cash money. baby. Randy Moss. And as I was saying, in the state of California, I don't know how they do it anywhere else. You got to show proof of funds. Oh, proof yeah. of funds. Because nobody wants to, their time to be wasted. Mm-mm. They're not about to put in no off. As a matter of fact, I was telling them to get an appointment at a home. And I mean, like your agent makes an appointment with the selling agent. If it's for a house over a certain price, you have to show you got the money then mm-hmm. just to tour. Because why waste the time? Yeah, you, there's a lot of people who want to see multi-million dollar homes. Them doggone uh, selling sunset houses? No, oh, you don't have what? it. Don't we're not. No, we're not about to have you up we're in here. We're not coming over here if you can buy. You can't even buy this. Stop playing around. Yes, you can't. No, 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 no. So. Um, uh, he was adamant, and so they lost a realtor because of that. Mm. Go back into 2021, because this all happens between 2020 and 2021. Um, Hell of a year. She, uh, they try to find, go shopping for a car. This is what's crazy. She, he was like, my company, they want to give me a company car. So for I'm going to go, I'm going to go BMW. We're going to test drive. I'm going to get the wire information. That's I'm not going, how company cars work this, at all. I was, we were like, have you not watched the office? We were like, wait, you don't, when has <laughs> since the employee ever been able to go and pick out the company car from a lot from a car dealership? When has that ever happened? There's no that car shopping. not how company cars work. You don't go to the people themselves. I'm getting the wire information from them. <laughs> if they're going to print it, I'm going to take a picture of it and send it to you. And then. You can just text me the wire info? Then then you got to, then you send it, and then you got to. So uh, he's lying to the point of, oh, yeah, he said he was the VP of a condiment manufacturing company. Heinz Ketchup, he, it was for the NDAs. He couldn't. 
He couldn't oh say the specific one. It turns out that he drove a forklift <laughs> for that company, which is a great job. But it does not make you a VP. Listen. Angel, VP stands for vehicle protector <laughs> of forklifts. Somebody said it stood for vicious printer because this nigga had printouts for everything. Everything. Oh, my God. Every single thing. The thing that in the camel, the, the straw that broke the camel's back. Um, he had, she had definitely seen in his phone that he had, um, had some run-ins with a sex worker that he was, you know, doing the thing with mm. when she was applying for a new job. Cause she was just like, I don't want to have to depend on no man. The background check made her give the social security number of her spouse. She realized when she wrote it in that it was not the same number. The number he gave her then was not the same number that was on their mm. marriage license. <laughs> that when they applied for a marriage license, she goes to run that social security number, sees that, sees his previous marriage, but sees that it never happened in the state of California, <laughs> that it happened in the state of Georgia. Oh, OK. She then calls San Diego State. They were like, who is you talking about? <laughs> She confronts him about that. He says, I'm a private, I was a private citizen. My dad paid money, so they can't know who I am because that's the way they do. Are we all private citizens? Yeah. Yeah, we all are. He just, he what was What is just a private throwing, citizen? Am I, am I missing what a private citizen? All, a private citizen is what we are. If okay, we this is what we are. If we were in, uh, if we were armed uh, officers or if we were in the military, yeah. We are not private citizens. Okay. <laughs> you understand? I, I'm a private citizen. Yeah. Okay, everybody ain't got that. I got PC on my driver's license. Uh, private citizen. And also, I don't know if you remember this. He went to weekend jail. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she went. That's something I have heard of, which is wild. This man. No, the wildest part was him taking her to the cemetery to see the grave plot of his grandmother and grandfather and these are th- th- god this nigga, rest their souls man. this man just worked at the grave <laughs> he was like site. these are somebody's grandparents <laughs> the thing about his lies they're the most illustrious lies like and she the i i i didn't watch all of it melissa was melissa was listening to a lot of it so uh-huh. i was listening by default mm-hmm. same the, the the woman, Risa, she took a lot of accountability, uh-huh. especially early on. She was going to have to. She was like, I was tripping, y'all. Like, I was tripping. But these are some of the most <laughs> egregious. Apparently, everything he showed her on her, his phone was just Google. He was like, just screenshot. Chase pre, pre, pre-approval offer letter. If she would have did this, it would have been like, ah! Because ah! <laughs> you got to log in. You she got said, to log- no, one of the times she said, I watched him log in. I saw, but this was the account with a smaller amount. Mm, she yeah. said, I watched him log in. I saw the, the thing, but it all boiled down to she spoke to his ex-wife. She found the ex-wife. By this time, he'd already killed off the ex-wife's daughter. <laughs> that she had died of COVID. Now, the, the daughter's alive. Alive the, well. uh, And the son is alive. The son actually made a video where he was like, oh, yeah, everything that woman said is, oh, no, 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 not that son. She didn't know he was married previous to this woman as well, to a woman Man. named uh, LaToya. She found that out by finding out that the grandmother died in 2015. Mm. This man was writing a murder novel. People are dying left and right. They're coming back to life. They're just, you're dead. You're this, alive. I can't wait for this uh, biopic. This is going to be the Dirty D season four will He's be this. He's a twin. That's what I screamed. (laughs) Where have you been? He stole the identity of his twin. Nobody knows it like you do. Nobody goes stay all these lies I got do. I'm from San Diego, but I am the VP. (laughs) His twin brother was the VP driving a BMW, and he said, so am I. I said, so he's got he's got everything going for him. Let me take this stuff yes. and fake talk. The most crazy thing is the fake talk on the phone. Oh, it is a good the time. The dedication to the lie is just I don't have it in me to fake talk. No. For an hour. There is, I, I am so, first of all, I'm too nosy. Uh, this is not to say I can't get scammed. But once my husband is like this, <laughs> who are you talking to? <laughs> Let me say hi. I'm a very much so, and you know me, I love a good FaceTime. You is a nigga on that phone. I love a good FaceTime. FaceTime him so I can say hey. <laughs> this poor baby, she was just living life as a married woman with a crazy, crazy, crazy man. 
And luckily she was only with them for a year and a half. But like, it was just like, she said that she ignored a lot of the red flags. She was like, I think I was colorblind. Girl, no, you saw they were red. You were actually blind. <laughs> you had, there's nothing in your mind. Also, this part was funny. What part? When he, he had no money, he lost all the weight, and she gave him some money for some chicken nuggets. Yeah, she said, go get some chicken nuggets. Go ahead. I feel bad. Get Why you some chicken, chicken nuggets. Why chicken nuggets of all things? When she said chicken nuggets, I was like, "This has there has to be more. <laughs> There's no way you're going through hell. You're like, you know what? Take this little $10 and go and get you an eight piece get with the chicken nuggets. <laughs> a grown man, like, can I, I had, my mom said I can have an eight tw- or maybe a 12 piece if you guys have an extra. He's like, I got a place to stay. Yeah. You're in your car. You're in your car. Chicken he- nuggets as a man. I mean, I eat chicken nuggets all the time. I love chicken somebody, nuggets. Somebody, um, when I'm down and out, yeah, I have no problem with chicken nuggets. It's just funny for a woman to be like, go and get you some chicken nuggets. Now I can't eat that. Now I can't eat Because now it feels, because kids love chicken nuggets. You you tell kids you want chicken nuggets, they go, well, oh, he, I want chicken nuggets. He would probably say, yeah, I'm only eight. To the people. I can eat chicken nuggets. I'm only eight years old. This man, there's no lie that's too far. He did you see his snippet of a video? Him him actually? Yeah. Or the fake because you the people had went and tried to they exposed him, but then it wasn't, but him. It wasn't him. It was Oh, the one in the video. So I saw No, no, no. There's a video of him. How we know it's him for sure. It matches the other pitch. Like there's one man who is not. And then there's one man who it is. Okay, so I saw the one guy who was like, that's not me. Mm-hmm. The other guy, I didn't know if it was real. And I know they were mad at the girl who, who expo- exposed him. Who exposed him. Uh, but I didn't know if it was real anymore. There was a dude who said, you need to stop lying to these people. You know the reason why we got a divorce is because I caught you in the bed with Bradley. I saw that one. Was that really him? <laughs> was that, was that- Based off of the pictures that I keep seeing, he matches. He's a, a chunkier version. Of the pictures that I keep seeing. Okay. Because he had lost some weight. They said. She said he went from he 3X. Found it. He went from 3X to medium. 1X. She said he went from 3 to 1. Was that before all, or after story. the bottles of holy water? Huh? Was that before or after the bottles of holy water that he that he peed in? Oh, Wait, the, the Gatorade? He peed in the Gatorade bottle. <laughs> the Gatorade oh, bottle. Sh- the- she was mad about that. And then he peed and gave, girl, he didn't, he been scamming you all this time. You better like, hope that, he ain't peed in, was, in your water. I was like, that's where you draw the line. <laughs> she was like, models. and that's where I was. She said, I was going to fight him. If you don't get up out of here, girl, girl, you might, girl. As well, you might as well have shot him by then. It don't even matter no more. Everybody's you might peed in the well. bottle once, you know? Who ain't peed in a Gatorade bottle amongst friends? Listen, listen, are you one of the uh, friend in a friend group that loves to treat yourself? I well, am. <laughs> it's okay. Sure Honestly, is. we all do it. You know you get a pedicure or opt for the extra 10-minute foot massage with the green tea-infused lotion. Okay, hopefully they're not talking bad about me because this is all the type of stuff that I do, okay? Refuse to make coffee at home because that fancy coffee shop is right downstairs. Absolutely. Opt for extra leg room seat on the plane because your vacation starts now. That sounds like somebody in this room. Um, Always buys double at the sale because it's actually like saving money. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're you talking treat, good, if you treat yourself to the top options with everything in life, why settle when, when it's time to find a doctor? This is your health after all. Enter ZocDoc, the place where you can find and book tens of thousands of top tier doctors, all with verified patient reviews. Don't settle. Go for the best and find the right doctor for you. With ZocDoc, you have more options than you know. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. Once you find the doc you want, you can book them immediately. No waiting awkwardly on hold with a receptionist. And these docs all have verified reviews from actual real patients. We're talking about booking appointments with tens of thousands of top rated patient review, credible doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for the ones that take your insurance that are located near you and treat basically any condition you're searching for. The typical wait time to see a doctor booked on ZocDoc is between just 24 and 72 hours. That's it. You can even say you can even score same day appointments. Me and Marcus used ZocDoc when we were dealing with there was something he was going through. Actually, I'm not gonna put out his business like it, even though it was something minor. Like, yeah. like it, it was something minor, but it was something that we were just like, yeah, no, let's we got insurance. Let's find a doctor to see what what's going on, and we were able to get appointments for him same day, which. I'm, I'm just telling you, I don't know what uh, universe you have to be in outside of the ZocDoc universe to make that happen, because I only know that to happen on ZocDoc. Mm. 
Go to ZocDoc.com slash SK and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash SK. SK. ZocDoc.com slash SK. All right, Angel, as a woman, how far into this do you think you get? Um, Let's see. At 20, and there's a penis coefficient. At, uh, women, a penis coefficient? Yes. That you, mean? A multiplier, depending on the level of... of uh, sexual fulfillment in the event of being swallowed up. Swallowed up. <laughs> sex has never like while while sex it does make it harder for me to leave. Sex is not something that makes me more invested in a person. Mm. Like I might still f with you, but I'm not going to put my life dependency upon you. So it's more so with age. In my twenties, mm -hmm. definitely would have been. I would have, I wouldn't have made it to marriage. Absolutely not. But I probably would have believed some of his lies just to, just because of my naivete yeah. and my lack of being able to understand when my intuition is leading me in the right direction. Got it. Thirties. The soon as thirties, as soon as I found out about that house, that was it, but he's paying the bills. With the VP of, you know, forklift. I've also never been someone who's wanted to be taken care of financially. Ah, uh, mm. you didn't desire? Never. So that also removes some of that. Now, what I, where I can relate is the church girl part. Mm -hmm. Is the strong desire to want to be married to where you're just like, oh, this person actually wants to be married too. Mm -hmm. Where I would try to work through some things, but lies actually are probably piss, piss me off more than character characteristics that like, like if somebody is a loud eater or a loud snorer or not as clean, lying is the thing that'll make me go, yeah. hey, I can't, I can't. So uh, in this instance, I'm not trying to say that my turn, the, what would have happened would have been any better for me, but because lying is something that I have a really, even small lies, I have a really hard time. Really? It's like I have to talk about it in therapy. I get really like agitated at small, small, really lies. Yeah. So I'm the trying to think if I lied to you, you have, but have I? <laughs> <laughs> it's all about if if I know it's it's the difference when somebody has misspoken versus when someone is intentionally lying yeah, to yeah, me. Yeah. And so I would have had a hard time letting go that first lie of okay, I know this house has been sold to somebody yeah. else, and you still looking at me in the face line. Um, so that's the only reason why I think I would have gotten out of there sooner than she would be, just because that is a huge yelling at me and lying to me. Those are the two things that's going to have me What if somebody's ghost. yelling and lie? Well, well, listen, I'm gone. <laughs> I, I'm not even going to yell back. We gone. Bye. <laughs> Bye. So that's it. I, I, I uh, At 30... I've been, I've been wiser beyond my years at a very young age. So I have to sometimes like recalibrate to think about, okay, what are 30 year olds like right now? Yeah. She's 30. I think that's what somebody, is she 30 y'all? I thought was, the, is that you thought she was older? I, I thought she was older too, just based off of what she was saying about her pregnancy. Cause she I said, didn't hear that part. I, I thought she was mid thirties. She said that when she got pregnant, she was already worried about the pregnancy being um, a healthy pregnancy because of her age and her weight. Mm. Patreon saying anywhere from 35 to 40. Okay. She way over 30. So at that big of an age, it's just going to be, you're going to have to get me on some technology stuff. She's 36 now. So she was 32. Yeah. When all this went down. 24. Yeah. 32. Yeah. So at Does it get you on some technology stuff? Meaning as technology progresses faster and faster, mm. you gonna have to get me on some stuff that I just don't even know how to operate. Got it. In order to to probably swindle me now, where by the time, unfortunately for her, by the time she got into this trouble, at that age, I'd already owned my first house. Yeah. So I knew the process. I would know. Nigga, use a lie. Use a lie. Use a homunculi. Now, what's the biggest lie you've ever told? To, Me? Yeah, to a, to a woman. Oh. You too, Josh. Oh, Jesus. Man. 
Yeah. I don't be lying like that. Like it. I'm trying to, I don't think I've ever told a big lie to Melissa. Also, I don't think a lie tell you, you got to know who you're telling a lie to. Mm -hmm. And I, Melissa don't give. She going to believe a lie. Easily. Yeah. She's hard to surprise because she's very like, Trying to what, figure what the that thing is. Out. Uh uh. Yeah, what's yeah, yeah. going on? Why this ain't right? Uh huh. She surprised the bull, but it's it's not easy. A yeah. straight up lie. It could be. I, I wasn't saying. That's why I said a woman. I didn't say your wife. I don't think. Oh. I, I said a oh, woman. Oh, woman. Oh. <laughs> that's what I said. A woman. I'm not Before trying to get y'all. Before Melissa. <laughs> I'm not trying to get y'all in trouble with the people y'all are with now. Yeah. I, there was this girl I was I was doing sin with in El Paso, summer of '99. When I was doing a lot of sin, uh -huh. she bless her heart. Hey man. Uh, I will say she wasn't. You know what I'm saying? She stank. She stank? No, she didn't think uh, visually. Oh, she wasn't attractive to you. Right. Okay. Just what you know what I'm saying in her face. And, what, yeah, this is what, subjective. She was not attractive to you in yeah, particular. Right. I, uh, I was, I was at the mall with her walking. And I saw somebody that I did like this is prior to social media where you could be like, oh, I go to a different school, go to a different school. She had went to a different school and I seen a girl who went to my school mm -hmm. and um, the girl. I don't think she even recognized we were walking together. I don't think she even saw me yet. And I, I dipped off like fast. Mm -hmm. very. I'm like, <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, middle of the mall. The cookie place, mm -hmm. gone, came back. She was like, what What happened? I was like, oh, man, I just saw somebody I ain't going to run into. She was like, are you embarrassed of me? I was like, what? hey, no. Who's my little hunchback? Come here. <laughs> Show me your big eye. Give oh, me your big you, eye. <laughs> you did my little, and then I scratched her back. I was like, who is a little? <laughs> you are terrible. Her legs start kicking. <laughs> you are terrible. So uh, that's when I was not a great person. I was just like, if you give me sex, ev everything else will be okay. And um, that was probably the most egregious, bald face, straight in your face lie. lie. Uh huh. Uh, but I, I didn't really do much lying. Well, I told girls I loved them that I didn't. No, but that's a lie. Oh, that's yeah. a that's that uh, that's a, egregious. That's a big lie. That's that a big, is egregious. That's not a big lie. We that's all a, do that. That's a big lie. That's manipulative. I was like, girl, I love you. Now <laughs> move the panties lie? down. What's your lie, Josh? <laughs> Um, oh wait, one more though. This was funny. Okay, this was get funny. That one up. This was this was summer ninety nine. Just about to do some sin. I mean, like, let's do some sin. And she was like, "Hold on, before we do this, are you my man?" I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "Just manipulative." Yes, of course Ooh, I am. Am I your man? Thank you what? to my man. What? <laughs> Girl, I am. I'm the one and only. Now. Let me have some of that. <laughs> Just for this moment, though. After, no After longer. this, girl, no. Why are you talking to you. me After at school? Communion, we'll, re we'll revene on this, you You're know? Dark man. I'm your man in the dark. Oh, this is terrible. After third period, ugh. Terrible. That was a blessing of going to a, l a large high school. It was easy to... Avoid people? Yeah, huh? man. Oh, girl, I ain't seen you all day. Just Weak. shysty ass. I'm terrible, man. That's why Melissa blessed me. <laughs> what, what about you, Josh? I know um, you got a good one. In a previous relationship, uh -huh. in order to you better make it clear. In in order to ease the blow of the breakup, I was like, uh, well, it was asked if there was potential to revisit the situation later, and I was like, yes, of course, there's no. potential. <laughs> Obviously, you know anything could happen. We, you know, maybe, and Obviously. there was not. The, the, in my mind. The, Did you the, just want to get out of the, it? Yes. I was you just. You said, how can I get out of this? It was a confrontation situation. I was like, let me just be more nice. Yeah. But it was a lie. It was a nice lie. Listen, li I'm not. Now, just because I hate lies don't mean I ain't told them. I have. <laughs> what you was told? I don't know what I've told, but I ain't going to sit here and say I ain't lied. I done to a lie. She hates you lies. Lie? Well, she done gets a, them off too. I done lied. But I also will will like stand by it and be like, yeah, I lied. <laughs> I absolutely <laughs> lied. You be truthful in your lies? Yeah. Like I it's it's uh what I don't like is the I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to make you feel crazy. Mm. That's like yes, when I when you've been caught just 
What's the biggest lie you caught somebody in? Oh. Oh, I've told this story. This is my husband. He, we had an agreement about how many guns we would have in our house. Mm-hmm. And what type. Oh. And there was like a, I don't know if it was a shotgun, rifle, something that he had wanted. <laughs> And I was like, we don't need that. We have two handguns, and I wanted none. He was like, we should have one. And I was like, no, I've already compromised. No, let's not. One time I was driving home, and he had just come back from the gun range. He didn't see me pulling up. I see him pulling the case, and it's a long case. So I know ain't no handgun in no long case. There's a long hand. (laughs) The barrel just goes all the way out. This is how he told on himself. As he was pulling it out of the case, he turns around and sees me, or pulls the case out of the trunk of his uh, truck. Oh. He turns around. He sees me pulling up, and he's like, (laughs) puts it back in the truck. When I tell you, when I tell you, I was heated. (laughs) Very funny visual. It was, mm. hey, Andrew, he I, did. I, it was a boomerang. Yes. <laughs> I was like, I mean, mouth dropped all the way open. Yeah. That was a big, we 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 argued about that for a minute. It caused an argument? No, my it caused a lot. <laughs> it did. It caused a whole lot. That was back, that was back when we were still both in our 20s and married. But yeah. Oh my god. Them lies, they be whoo. You know, for cause for me. It's specifically in a relationship. I'm not the person that stops at, even with a small lie, that like, okay, you just lied about that. My brain goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, so if you lying about this. What else are you lying about? You're probably lying about that. Oh, you lied about what time you actually got the kids. What's your real name? That, that's what. That's, that's how far my brain goes. It does not stop at a rational place. It does not go. What's your real name? Yeah, that's what. Who's who's your other children? <laughs> if you if you can't tell me what time you picked up, is it because you confused that with your other children that you picked up from school? Oh my god! I ain't saying it's right. I'm just oh, saying what my that's brain does. Funny. So you don't want to send them off off this uh, wild goose chase. Now your whole credibility's uh, in question. Mm-hmm. You don't want to be in that situation. This my children already know the last good spanking. Little Marcus got was for lying, mm-hmm. and he was he was young, but he knows now. Hey, just go ahead, tell me the truth. That is a sweet kid. Mm. He is. A he, I, he, I know, I annoy him. <laughs> no, he I know, I annoy him because I'd be like, boy, you done got look at you all tall and up. What you doing up here? I always hit him on the there? chest. I do this to Zayzay all the time. I be like, look at you, you're strong, ain't it? He's like, yes, yes, Mister Kevin. <laughs> That boy done shot up over the last year now, Angel, and I don't like it. I know. I don't either. He's my favorite of your kids. I mean, all your kids are great, but he, like, he's just a, they all actually have a great something. And Amar is just the test for people. It's such an admirable quality. He asked me, you asked me, he was at uh, Tab's house. Ah, he let me get him a cupcake. Mm, Yes. He was was bugging you for a cupcake. And he was like, go over there with Mr. Kevin and get it. He was like, and ask him, he was like, can I have a cupcake? <laughs> exactly. I will allow this conversation because like, my what? desire for the cupcake is more important to me the, than the, my the, <laughs> ste- the test. And for I you. was like, sure, you are, buddy. I'll take you. Come on, walk. <laughs> I carried him over there, let him pick it out. And he he gave me a it. solid two minutes of a uh, of FaceTime. And the way he does look at people is just so rude. It's he could not like want to deal with people, but he'd be like. That he's the Republican. That's his face. He just be like, be like well. "Why are you doing that?" And it's such an uh, opposition to uh, Micaiah. Yes, she's like, "You are the world to me." <laughs> she's like, "Hey, <laughs> want to take a picture? <laughs> want to take a picture? Hmm? Hey, that's my girl right oh there." Oh my god. You know what else is my girl? Prize picks. Uh, y'all already know Angel be all over it. Oh, Me oh, and Kev prize picks, be boy. picking and prizing all day long. Prize picks is America's number one fantasy sports app with over 3 million users. <laughs> and guess what? We're a part of it. We are the easiest, or they are the easiest, most exciting way to play DFS. It's just you against the numbers. You pick more 
or uh, more than or less than mm-hmm. on two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. Joshy Gons, you're going to tell the people your experience with prize Listen, picks. Listen, I love using prize picks because you don't just have to pick points. If you're looking at basketball or football, you could do points and rebounds uh, for the more than or less than whatever you're picking. Um, it's very easy and um, the payout is nice. When, yeah. when you hit the picks. When you hit the picks. Do you have any uh, players that you like? Because since apparently, Nick, uh, well, first of all, I definitely saw Nikola Jokic uh-huh. this weekend. Your nose is bleeding. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I, saw, I said, I know that man. During the All-Star game? I did see him. But are there any players that you just are like, yeah, Listen, that's Listen, I love, I love picking Wimbenyana sometimes. Wimbenyana. Because yeah. I go for the, I go, wimby, the, wimby. I go for the PRA combos on prize picks, which is points, rebounds, and assists. That's Come my on. favorite combo. That's the easiest one. That's the easiest one. Not necessarily the easiest, but there's more op- opportunities to get PRAs. The I was just we was just talking about we this talking on about the PRAs, play. Really? How we, we be both be in PRA. Opportunities. Prize picks is really simple to play. I can make my picks and submit my entries in less than sixty seconds. Quick withdrawals. Easy play game. Oh, excuse me. Easy gameplay and an enormous selection of players and stat types are what makes Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Prize Picks offers weekly promotions that can lead to big payouts like Taco Tuesday. Each Tuesday, Prize Picks discounts selects players' projections up to 25% to, pr- to provide even more value. Prize Picks now offers Apple Pay for quick and easy deposits into your account oh, wow. this football season. Go to prospects.com slash SK. SK. And use code SK, SK for a first deposit match up to $100. Go to prospects.com slash SK. SK. And use code SK, SK for a first deposit match up to $100. Thank you, Prospects, for sponsoring today's podcast. Did you watch the All-Star game? Yes. I did. I watched pieces of it. What are your thoughts? People are very upset about it. They, we, everybody's you got know, a first of all, it was a million points to a million it, points. It you know what, Kev? It used to be competitive, man. man when, I, when Michael Jordan in '92, when they when they ca- when they cared about the game, they cared about the game. Jamel Hill actually brought up a point that I hadn't thought about what? about why the All Star sure, Game is. Sure. She said in the early '90s, '80s, and '90s when we was when I started watching the NBA, you finna hoop. Early 80s and 90s, before superstars teamed up, mm-hmm. the most exciting thing. Please shoot this basket <laughs> so I can see how far I go. Oh, oh that was almost there. See? Splash. Points and rebounds. Splash. She was saying that um, we didn't get to see those superstars team up often because yeah. they would stay with their team for a lot longer. And then this generation of stars, they they they, they leave teams. teams. They, they make mega teams. So, like, seeing Jordan play with, you know, uh, we didn't seen them play already I, we together. Didn't, we, we well, seen, and back then we hadn't. Yeah. But now we didn't seen y'all play we together before. We didn't see the super team. Kevin Durant was on the Warriors. LeBron was with Wade and Bosch. Like when, when I was a kid, it was like, oh my God. Iverson's playing like, with Oh, Jordan mm-hmm. and them are on the same team. Kobe, you know, Kobe, you know what I'm saying? It just it just was interesting. And also the dunk contest. Um, there's two thoughts, and I, I don't agree with one. One is that LeBron, well, actually, it might have been true. LeBron stopped. When LeBron didn't do the dunk contest, all the stars stopped. I don't think that's I, – I mean, I think people might have stopped doing it because of that, but I don't think that's what's missing in the dunk contest. I think what's missing in the dunk contest, for me, I'd be seeing cooler dunks by non-NBA players. Yeah. Like, them people who just are professional dunkers, they be doing some stuff that you've never Crazy. seen. Yeah. Uh, and also, you want to see – I kind of agree. You want to see the best players also be the best dunkers. The three-point shootout was the it's highlight the of the weekend. It's With, the highlight. With uh, Steph and the girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You remember her name? Brittany. Yep. Most people call her Sabrina, though. Most. But her family calls her Brittany. Right. I call her Brittany because me and her know each other like that. Yeah. And – uh. Steph won by like two points. But yeah, Sabrina a, was hooping though. Oh, she, was. she does hoop. She does shoot well, well. I was her Very shooting well. coach back when she was in elementary school. That's why I call her Brittany. That's why you call her Brittany. Because I was like, it, it's Brittany, bitch. And she was like, and that's what would get her on fire. Absolutely. And also, what do you think about Caitlin Clark? She became the number one leading scorer in Division One history, I believe a week ago. And Shaq called her the greatest woman college basketball player of all time. Do you agree? I, I saw it happening. You did? I did. And I said, yep. (laughs) I believe that she is the greatest female basketball player in college basketball, Division I, ever. 
You know what, Angel? You took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah. I don't agree I with that. Well, and this is no hate. I'm going to tell you. What do you think? You think Angel better? Or you I, think... I, uh, I, Angel Reese? Angel Reese. No, yeah. I think Cheryl Miller was the greatest of all oh, time. Oh, you're saying you're taking it back in time. Taking it back. I think... That's and this is no head. shade to Kaylin Clark. I think she is a hooper for show. Yeah. She also benefits tremendously. The, the women's game is more popular now. But Cheryl Miller... Uh, sure, and the one I seen with my own eyes, Shamiqua Holesclaw from from Tennessee. And I forgot about Shamiqua. Shamiqua was I said, they oh watched my! So Caitlyn can run. Yeah, they did, and that this is no hate to Caitlyn because she has brought some she eyeball. Yes, yeah, she hoops. She's shooting from it's the most far. money. This is the most money far. those tickets have ever sold for before. But Cheryl Miller, Reggie Miller was in the NBA, and he was like the person I could never beat was my sister. Oh, and now they're both in the the FIBA. FIBA. FIBA is. Wait, what is people? Hall of Fame? Yeah. I don't know this story. No, they bo- he's now, he just got, uh, they just told him that he's going to be inducted. So now it'll be the first oh. brother and sister. Oh, okay, dope. Because she already in there. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Cheryl, Cheryl Miller probably, she just, the game wasn't as popular as it was. Shamika Holtzcott with my own eyes. I'm talking See, about person. I, Cheryl Miller is like the Jordan of women's hoops. Like, uh-huh. even if you didn't watch her play, yeah. the stats in high school and college, it's just... Unbelievable! I'm talking about my own eyes that I've seen. Shamika Holtzclaw, I was like, bro, you cannot be this good at basketball. See, I was thinking of this generation. But, yeah, when you take it into consideration of all history, She's I would She's exciting. She plays almost just like Steph. She's very exciting. And, and shout out to her. I'm, I'm very happy the women's game is more interesting. I think last year, the Louisville – I mean, it's, uh, not Louisville. The uh, Iowa – South Iowa Carolina. South Carolina game, it outranked the that men's was, game. We were in South Carolina yes, too. That was it was crazy. High. And I haven't been as excited about men's college basketball in a while. They ain't got no stories. You need your Angel Reese's. You no, need your no. Caitlin Clark's. You need your juggernauts like uh, South Carolina. You need stories. Back, Sports is entertainment, baby. Back to the three point uh, contest. Were they really knocking um, Sabrina because she's using the smaller ball? I think it was Kenny Smith. From what I, we were on stage, and when we got off stage, this must have been Saturday night or Friday night. Friday night. Uh It was like Kenny Smith is hating. Kenny Smith is hating. And they basically said he was saying from what I remember on Twitter, I obviously didn't hear. He was saying she should be shooting from the women's line. Um, But she was shooting from the men's line. She was shooting from the men's line. From what I understand. Then uh, then, then she's killing it regardless. Yeah. Regardless. Regardless. If she's shooting from the men's line. Saturday. I'm sorry. The the game was Sunday. The The contest was Friday. I, I don't thought they did one or not. I don't know. I okay. used to they, just blur way, we to were, each other. We were at work. We were at work. I also, very the, funny thing. Oh, no. Actually, I don't want to tell I want to know the first. stats on how many chicks was able to bag them somebody this weekend. That's the stats I want to know. In, in, uh, in the All-Star game? Yeah. Indianapolis, man. One is a lot. The BBLs in plastic surgery have leveled the playing field for a lot of women. Especially passports, being able to go to Colombia, the Dominican Republic. It's like a guaranteed draft to the D League. Right. So the the literally before you know, like you said, during the Michael Jordan days and stuff, it was either you came with the the gear already, yep, or you just ain't gonna be able to compete. But now we have a level playing field, and mm-hmm. I want to know how things went for the girls but also now you have a lot of rappers and celebrity women that are now entering the game yeah. so they have more cachet so i really i wish those are the stats that i want absolutely that's it all right we're gonna stay on relationships uh real quick mm. uh there was a very viral podcast uh excuse me Do, are we not gonna talk about chris chris brown oh all-star game please yeah this so uh absolutely so uh, I, I wasn't sure if you were just purposefully skipping it or no, not. No, no, no. This is a great time for that. Uh, so Chris Brown, uh, this is all based off of what we've seen online. So we don't know what is true and what's not to be true. Chris Brown said he was asked to be a part of the All-Star Weekend because, you know, they always have the celebrity game. And then his he's invitation. Mid- he's mid-rollout right now, too. He just put an album out. But keep oh, is he? Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Um, He said his invitation was... uh, Rescinded. Rescinded. Mm. Um, He says that the NBA said is because one of the sponsors, specifically Ruffles, did not want him to be in the game. And they, uh, if you all didn't know this, with these big games and events, sponsors pay a lot of money to have their name everywhere, whether it be on the uniforms, whether it be on the signage in the game, on the court. 
Um, so Chris went to the interwebs. Got a chip on his shoulder. Well, yeah. He, he, I mean, they this, ruffled this, feathers. I, now, what can I say? Come you on, man. Out. You gotta get in there. I was, wait, I was trying not to interrupt you. <laughs> I was fighting oh, for eight I seconds. Was, oh, I was nah. like, I gotta wait. I, gotta I knew wait, where I you were coming. I, I knew where like, you were going, and I said, that, give me that shit. Remember that episode of The Office where Michael was like, uh, I'm trying to think of something. Yeah. Uh, pop, uh, yogurt. No. Yeah. <laughs> He said, he said, y'all left me with crumbs, and I'm about to call y'all out for it. Oh, my God. You Andrew, had another one. Oh, I'll keep going. You could have gave me ruffled. And never. Kev, if you <laughs> had that. Nah, Kev, you just had too much dip on your chin, man. Never. Guys, ah, come on, man. We just going to keep on firing off at your ass. I, I really can't think of anything. It's okay, okay Kev. It's okay. <laughs> So, anyways, Ruffles was like, man, we, we weren't in this. Uh, they put that thing out and they turned the comments off. They were yeah. like, we have no say so. And listen, in this business, they actually don't have to say something. Yeah. What happens is the company like the NBA can preemptively be like, this might, this might, you know, piss off our sponsors. Uh, it was whack of them if it was Ruffles to be like, and Ruffles did it. Right. Like, stand on your own tin. Exactly. If you don't want to, just either say our sponsors or we don't We don't want no no issue. Yeah, no, that definitely. I was like, how how y'all going? NBA, I get it. Y'all have sponsors. Absolutely. But at the end of the day, this is y'all's game. Right. <laughs> so either y'all felt like the money that was being offered is more important yeah. than him. It's just like Lee Daniels with the whole, he was like, Hey, Oprah got money. So <laughs> I'm going to Mo, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, he has been cursing them out online and Ruffles is just like his fans were in the Ruffles comments going. I never eat no Ruffles ever again, ever. I'm Doritos for life, nigga. Like they really were. Is it Ruffles Frito Lay? It's the same. <laughs> it's the same umbrella. Exactly. It's just really when you really boil it down. We actually don't talk to, about it enough. That's a monopoly. But people, yeah, it absolutely is. They have a great episode of uh, the foods that made us. How Frito Lay became a company. But going to a snack brand's Instagram to threaten them. to be like, I would never. And I really like the cheddar and sour cream. <laughs> I would never purchase another bag. Yeah. I had those chips yesterday. At the airport, well, but it's just really funny when you when you're yelling at a at a chips. You're and, yelling at chips. And let me tell you, and I know Chris has some amazing fans that are strong and that are loyal. But let me tell you, what's going to be more loyal than anybody else is a mom who has to pack a school lunch. <laughs> she don't give two shits about if who she played. already bought the fifty pack because uh, that's what we doing. We going not- to Costco and getting them things by. <laughs> I don't care if this baby played in a game or not. What I know is that I got to get these kids out of the house. And y'all going to choose whatever's left. These, these chips are loyal. Yes. <laughs> these chips are loyal. I don't want no more. Uh-huh. I can't think of one. I want y'all to stop. <laughs> oh, no. We're going to keep stop going. Stop doing that. Uh, so, yeah. I was like, I don't. You guys, hey, hey, hey. I'm not sure what y'all think is going to happen in this effort. Mm-hmm. But it's not, it's not that people are going to stop by f- ruffles oh. the ruffles is getting bought oh yeah and also the nba it's it's interesting this is an example some some consequences you pay for you pay for forever yeah like and i see people in the comments like it's not just it's not just rihanna it's absolutely not he had a video that was even more dangerous like it was weird to me and he was like uh i think it was in reference to karuchi i'm not sure but he was like, I'm the type of nigga that when you leave me, you ain't never going. If I love you, can't nobody have you. I'm going to follow you around, this and that. I'm going to chase the other nigga away. And I was just like, mm-hmm. I, you you probably shouldn't say stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And he used to be in Karuchi. It was when I worked at All Dev on the drop, they would, I mean, they covered him in Karuchi all oh, the time. time. Yeah, it was easy views. <laughs> it was easy views. So sometimes you don't get a chance to. Um, sometimes you do get a chance to for retribution. Sometimes companies be like, absolutely not forever and, and always. No, like you might not be in jail, but that doesn't mean companies have to or people have to associate with associate with you. Mm. Some of that stuff is for some of that stain is forever. Well, I actually do think he could um, atone for this, but I I don't think he's willing. Like meaning. I know people keep bringing up the Rihanna thing, and that is that is definitely like okay, okay, guys, 
eventually we have to stop bringing that up. The unfortunate thing is there are enough occurrences after yeah. that it doesn't feel as if there has been, at least from my perspective, and I could be wrong, but from my perspective, it doesn't seem like there's been any atonement, and it does a lot of times seem like um, repetitive behavior. But like I said in another podcast too, though, he, I don't think there's an awareness of if you even show the slightest bit of aggravation, yeah. it's going to make headlines. You oh, are yeah. now past the point of giving you a, um, giving you grace when it comes to that. So if you show any sign of anger, there he goes again. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. just like, there's a reality of, of uh, an environment that he has set for himself that if you do, if he does, it, it's kind of like, I don't want to compare him to Kanye because they are very, two very different people, but Kanye, anything he does now, when most of it looks crazy, mm-hmm. but even if it looks slightly crazy, we like, there go that crazy yeah, nigga absolutely. again. So 100%. that's all it is. It's yeah. It's the bed that he's kind of made. And unless he gets out of that damn bed, <laughs> okay. <laughs> he walks up out of that room. <laughs> he's made it. He's made it a couple of times, more, more times. Uh, yeah. He, yeah. he be getting out of it. He's like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get in this bed again. I'm going to do something yes. else. <laughs> yes. So, yes. Uh, but anyway, all right, moving on. Uh, this podcast went viral. I want you guys to hear it. If you hadn't heard it, here it is. Right now. My adversity right now is. <sighs> oh, yes. Dear God. My, nah, because I, I, I'm tempted about saying it, but I'm a. I'll keep it G. I'll keep it real. It's, it's marriage, right? Mm. Marriage. Ooh. It's tough. How long you been married? Mar- Seven years. When I first got married. Got kids? Two by my wife. I just want to pause and say I'm forever answering that question that way. People ask me if I have kids. Two by my wife. Well, how many do you have? Two. Mm-hmm. Would you say two by my wife? Yes, because the two are by my wife. Mm-hmm. I don't have any more. But the two I have are by my wife. Uh-huh. Henceforth, now, forevermore. Why you say it that way? <laughs> two by. Oh, I'm, I'm, over, I'm overcoming. I'm overcoming this adversity. You I'm have overcome. two by your wife, which means you got some other ones. I have one more. I got one How old more. is that one more? He is turning two in December. <sighs> Exceeding, excelling. <laughs> I'm surviving it. I'm two years past. Well, you're not surviving it. It's I'm, something that you did. Oh, def- most definitely. But I'm still, I'm still, me and my man, me and my wife, we still rocking. Like I'm, I'm surviving. It's well, tough. She's, ex- she's overcoming. Oh, she definitely is. You obviously did something you weren't supposed to do. I think you need to learn how to exceed and excel as a husband. Tell me how you're exceeding, excelling. As a husband. As a husband. I can use multiple examples, but for one, I'll, I'll say one. I most recently did. My wife, she didn't even realize I was doing it. One day, <laughs> one day I just randomly sent her. I always sent my things is blue hearts. Sent her a blue heart. Love you, babe. Good morning. Love my morning text. <laughs> Next day, love you, babe. Two hearts. Next day, love you, babe. I saw. I caught myself sending her just like three, three random hearts. And I said to myself, oh, Let me see how long I could go on with this heart. Like every Jesus. day, I'm gonna add an extra heart. Mm-hmm. I want to see how long. Like I, this, and this was <laughs> this real talk. I like little, that. little tactics, and I said, let me see if I could finish this thing <laughs> throughout the year into the new year. Right. Oh, long story short, I messed up. Right. Went 21 days. I, I, I don't know Bless about God. you, or I felt God. good about 21 hearts. Like straight. Everything good, no arguments, no disagreements. So, Angel, as a black woman. Pause. No, somebody just called me, pick me in the comments. And I got time today. Already? You yes. didn't even say nothing. Oh, because I said, I don't know what I said about Chris Brown that said, pick me. That sounded like pick me. There they go. He picked oh, me again. Give it to him, Angel. What Sing about, it out, Josh. What about me saying, okay, it's understandable that bringing up something that happened when this boy was 16 might be too far. But he has other occurrences that have happened that makes it seem like he's not apologetic. Can somebody explain to me how that's picked me in this room? I don't know. I would love to know. I don't. I. I'm also a little scared right now. So. No, because I'm like, hold on, because <laughs> then if it's like, oh, so you the one that was down at the lipstick alley talking? <laughs> <laughs> they had the pop the opportunity to tell me in the comments. I don't know, Angel. It just irritated me because I was like, I wait know. a minute. It's getting a little chippy in here. 
get a come on. Yeah, she's back, baby. I was not gonna let it go. I was not gonna let it go. I'm like, now hold on. Y'all get mad if I'm not objective in, in a conversation. Angel, hey, this is your show. Oh, yeah, that's why I said we're going to stop. Blue hearts, you're going to be on pause right now. Pause the blue hearts. Get your hearts together. <laughs> <clears throat> but I was like, hold the hold the damn phone. I could have sworn that Listen, I said. Listen, I'm being more okay with just, I'm going to say my, when when the comments don't agree with me, I just don't check them on that episode. No, it was just random. I yeah. saw, oh, there goes pick me angel shaking my head. The <laughs> hell? Well, okay, if I'm pick me, you got to tell me. You got to tell me why. You got to tell, tell me why, me why pick why. me. Ain't Please, ain't explain. Please explain. Please explain. Because if I say something where I'm like, okay, I'm holding him accountable, how mm -hmm. is that pick me? I don't know. I, that's not usually what pick me. That's why that's I'm like, what, what am I saying? That's pick me. I don't know. Maybe they thought you were going to be pick me. Well, Maybe it was a preemptive pick me. I don't. I, I, well, they typed twice. They said, Angel, this ain't it. And it caught my eye. Mm. Usually don't. People be talking crazy and I'll be like, doop -a -doop -a -doop -a. <laughs> I would love to give them an opportunity to tell me why. But until then, have you all gotten your life insurance together? <laughs> okay, because with life insurance, you got to use it for financial planning, y'all, for your it. family, okay? And the sooner you buy it, the better, because the rates increase as you get older. I'm going to tell you now, the rate they gave me when I was in my 20s does not look like the rate they gave me when I got it when I was 42. Mm -hmm. It looks very... Very, very different. Make life insurance a part of your financial planning this year. Start shopping now with Policy Genius to find the right policy to protect your family. Get life insurance today means you'll get have peace of mind so that if there's something where that were to happen to you, your family can cover expenses while getting back on their feet. You you got uh, mortgage payments, you got credit card payments, car loans, college loans, all mm -hmm. these things that could happen. To need to be paid for. And if you're not here, they can't be paid for. Luckily, Policy Genius helps you compare your options from top companies and their team of licensed experts is on hand to help talk you through it. We use Policy Genius in my household. I used it to get my uh, my policy together. Same with my husband and my mother. And I can tell you right now, without a shadow of a doubt, I would not have been able to do it without Policy Genius. I have tried before and I felt like I couldn't trust the people that I was talking to. I felt like they were saying a bunch of language that was supposed to go over my head and it was going over my head. With Policy Genius, they took the time to explain everything to me and I knew they were working for me not the insurance companies. Policy Genius technology makes it easy to compare life insurance quotes from America's top insurers in just a few clicks to find your lowest price. Even if you already have life insurance policy through work, it may not offer enough protection for your family's needs and it may not allow you to leave, may not follow you if you leave your job. With Policy Genius, you can find life insurance policies that start at just two ninety two per year for a million dollars of coverage. Some options offer same day approval and avoid unnecessary medical exams. Save time and money and f provide your family with a financial safety net using Policy Genius. Hit to policygenius.com or click the link in the description to get your free life insurance cards and see how much you can save. That's policygenius.com. Dot com. Okay, I got that off my chest. I was just like, wait a minute, because I tried to get the answer in yeah, the listen, comments and it chest, wasn't happening. Angel. Get I was it off like, your chest. I said, what, what are you talking about? Yeah. But anyways, we back. I think sometimes people think because we are influencers that we just going to ignore everything. Yes. And sometimes I, sometimes I have to get off my chest. Angel created the idea of a tour. And they'd be like, Kevin, who never has ever went on a tour, give Angel every piece of credit. I said, I gave Angel credit for what Angel got credit for. And I said what I said. And then we got that bread. <laughs> Except in New York, where the fees are outrageous. I'm going to tell y'all right now, I might be doing shows in New Jersey. Let me just tell y'all. the The tax for Times Square is outrageous oh yeah if y'all can come to times square hopefully y'all can come to brooklyn brunswick or brunswick or newark because times square is dope D done it maybe i'll come back when i go to matt but i was talking to my agent she said madison square garden they be trying to talk their clients out of performing there but everybody wants to perform there for the allure of madison square garden yes but, but the, like fees, everything. the fees are so crazy they said if you can do madison square garden you can do uh uh barclays i think is that where the next play yeah she said you can do Barclays and the amount of money selling the same tickets is so much different. But because people be like, nah, Madison Square. But me and Melissa was talking. I said, listen, Newark, Brooklyn, if y'all can take a train, y'all can take a train. Because when we do shows in New Brunswick, people be like, oh, I actually live in New Jersey. I be mm. going over to New York. But we did Caroline's. Caroline's closed. We they, did uh, where we taxes. did. Yeah. Because Caroline's couldn't do it. I said, man, next year, I, I'm sorry, New York. I, I might go to other places. But anyway, Blue Hearts.
So uh, Melissa told me not to make no more uh, standalone videos about him, but y'all put this in the comments a lot. And I just thought it was like, I, I just want to say, sometimes podcasts be the things, and listen, I just, I, I'm sorry. I am a black man, and I hate to say this because it isn't just us. But if you did the ratio of the most wild things you ever come out of podcasts, it's more men than women by a long shot. I'd uh -huh. say for every 10 wild podcast things you hear, probably uh -huh. eight are from men. I'm talking about black podcasts because I don't yeah, really yeah, listen yeah. to other podcasts. But I'm talking about for wild things said going viral, it's eight to eight to two for for women. This man, when when I watched this, I thought somebody in the comments said this and I thought it was so true. They said this this man is men eat steak, women eat salad. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play. I want to watch football game, eat food. The thing that's so funny to me uh -huh. is the level of offense. Mm -hmm. Okay, a seven-year marriage, five years in, you have had an outside baby. Uh huh. That is a huge offense. The question is, how have you excelled as a husband? The answer after opening up the door of that offense is was. <laughs> morning emojis hearts 21 at first i was like is it is it one one day then two the next then three the third that's what it sounds like and then up to 21 and on the 22nd day he was like man 22 22 is up. just so man, up. she she stayed with him after having outside child couples have done that yeah, couples oh, have yeah, stayed 100%. together but what they usually say, what if you if, if we had them on the love hour and they were like, what brought you together? Like, I, 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 I hesitate to believe one thing. The thing that was kind of crazy is like, I don't think she even knew I was doing that. I don't doubt. I, I don't believe that your wife didn't catch on that you were sending one more heart the next day than you did. I know. I think she saw it and was like, no, that's what I'm saying. He said, I don't think she even realized it. She absolutely realized you were sending one more blue heart than than you did the next. There's no way she didn't notice that. Like, I don't know this woman, but I don't believe under any circumstances she did. She wasn't aware of what you were doing. It's it's you know it makes me think of when people <laughs> when we have the conversation about standards in relationships, and then they'll be like on one end they'll be like, oh y'all standards are too high as black women. You want somebody who has yeah. this this and that. But then when you look at on the opposite side, they are <laughs> men that are like, but I sent you 20 hearts. 21. That sent you 21 But that hearts. 22nd day. <laughs> I really was trying as a man <laughs> to love you with these hearts. Do you think he was typing out the 22 and he was just like, oh, I don't want to. Or did he just forget? He forgot. He forgot? Absolutely. And it's, he woke up on day 23 and was like, God. And he didn't start over. He was just like, I mean, how many people ever done that? Not many. But how many people have never had an outside baby on their wife? He said, I who don't have to sit to by my wife. All the as soon as you heard overcoming, it, exceeding. He said, I'm overcoming it. <laughs> what? And the thing that was interesting, the podcast host actually pushed back. You very rarely see that happen uh -huh. in viral clips. He was like, well, she's surviving. And the way the guy was like, well, of course. I was like, are you aware of what I don't are you aware of what's happening right now? I, because you you can't say of course to that. The lack of intelligence listening to him talk, <laughs> it what baffled me because I was like, somebody loves you. Somebody loves somebody you. Somebody laid up with them legs open. Made two babies with you and now is listening to you explain this to a podcast host. 1000% about the 21 hearts that Blue podcast that. that podcast episode he I would if I were her I would have rather him had another baby on me than to have made that podcast <laughs> right taking at him least that was our business at least taking him back internally but now you got me out here looking like boo boo the fool because I accepted 21 hearts and I ain't stop you. Just cheat on me with, give me another baby. I can't explain that. Who ain't been cheated on and had a baby? There are a lot of people that have that story. But the blue heart, 
The failure of 365? It makes me want to take my hair off. Unfortunately, this is mine. It makes me, it feels like I have on a wig and you I just want to. You got the blue earrings. You're yeah, inspired. Right. I, blue hearts at that, I would have been, that, first of all, I would have been pissed off. I want red hearts. <laughs> nah, man. I don't want no blue hearts. Lay your bed, hit her with the blue. <laughs> no, I, first of all, I don't like that they're blue. That's where we're going to start. I don't like that. This you would is, have a black heart. Your actual. <laughs> I would prefer a black heart. At least that means black love. What does this blue shit mean? Crip love, Angel. I don't want it. Give me red. <laughs> if you said, if you send me a pink heart, a blue heart, I, I already know the love ain't real. Listen. You gonna have blue balls. <laughs> Uh-huh. It's so funny because I've been totally killing it as a husband in podcast clip form. Now, dear future wifey clips, I'm like, this nigga is the greatest husband ever. I'm killing it. Oh, yeah. In clip form, right? This is 20 years of uh, of of knowledge. And I, I'm this is what I'm competing with, though. It's learn to love your wife, be there in supportive presence. Yeah. And then you got send 21 blue hearts. 22 is too many. They say 21 days makes a habit. And he was like, ah, I almost got it to be a habit. I'm out. <laughs> he said it. I couldn't get it. I couldn't. I couldn't. Get it. Listen, honestly, if I if I were a Zeta or if I were a Your Zeta, Zeta makes Sigma, big sense. I am not. My my hair is red. My favorite color is red. Yeah. I am a Delta. You're not going to send me blue hearts and think I'm going to take your love seriously. You think this is a game. That's what you think this is. This ain't Candy Crush. We're not the Smurfs. Angel. It's just, I don't, I don't wish this on anybody's marriage, but if, if you had, if, like, do you know how pissed off you would be? What? Somebody said, I'm a Zeta and I don't even want <laughs> blue hearts. You got to go blue and white. You got to alternate. How <laughs> upset I'd be if the person I love not only cheated, but had an outside child and then talked about it publicly and then was like the most excited. He said, I have multiple examples, but let me tell you about this blue heart thing. I had one. I had ran for a pay period and a half. Mm. Cause you know, that's my thing. Mm. Late babe. Blue. And the thing that cracked me up, he said, I sent her right three random hearts. And I said, Oh, I should do this. Yeah. The moment of him realizing, hold on. This is. <laughs> it's the, the. It's the. That is the height of his twinkle. intellectual being. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I think I could do. I could do this all year, or maybe for three weeks. What the <laughs> What the two? I just. That man gave her a pay period and a half uh, of of blue hearts and said, "I'm out. I can't. My last check gonna be half. I can't." Are we do asking it. for too much? Yes. Are we asking, asking for, for too anything? Much? Is too much. Apparently, you take what you get. You get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. I'd rather not get any hearts. This listen. Then to know that's your effort. I'd rather <laughs> not know what your effort could be, <laughs> than to find out that is the pinnacle. That is your brainchild. That is your aha moment. I'd rather think that your brain just won't even go over there. Absolutely, I'm I'm with you. Listen, relationships are hard, guys. Relationships are hard, but when I tell you these ones make me be like, whew, this is like hoarders for everybody's house can be dirty at some point in time. Let's be honest, right? No, we're all house like, don't ever be dirty. huh? Y'all's house don't ever be dirty. It absolutely does. Very rarely. Lies. Go when ahead. we come back, but listen, I'm gonna tell you when our house be dirty for one second. Mm -hmm. The worst thing that can happen in a relationship is in our relationship for the house cleanliness is Melissa's first outfit not working out. Mm -hmm. If the office she had in her mind doesn't work out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I can understand you, that. It's very quick. Y'all's new closet looks pretty. Oh, my God. It's gorgeous. Melissa did her big one. It ain't even done yet. It's it so nice. dope. Mm. Uh, but we, when we, and the second time our house be dirty the most is come back from out of town from a long time, gone, and uh, unpacking, it's just a lot. You got to get your bearings. Right now, the, the laundry's piled high. Oh, man. We, we did, my we closet took a, is in shambles. We took a detour trip to Vegas. From St. Louis, mm -hmm. last second for JoJo have a soccer tournament. Oh, I didn't even tell you this. I told Joshi last night. JoJo got well. Let me tell you, and then I'll tell you. Okay. Took a detour tip to Vegas because JoJo had a soccer tournament there. So you know, Melissa bought some clothes. I had extra clothes. Right now, the laundry is piled high. Mm -hmm. 
because mm-hmm. last night we got home late. We were stuck in Vegas forever. We sat on the tarmac. The plane was hot. Oh, no. It pissed me off. Mm-hmm. That would have came out of my shirt. That's you, Southwest. Southwest. And you know what the plane, once they go mechanical, it could be anything. Uh, yes. Mechanical the, could the be. Light bulb. Anything. What do you say? Because I don't want to fall out the sky. So I always, weather mechanical, take new, your time. those new Max yeah. 8s, they've been questionable. Especially them, and I was on sitting on a boring plane, take your dog on time. Take, take the time. Because if the door falls open, it only takes one bad mechanical. Listen, those Southwest flights, I'm not sitting anywhere near those Listen, those <laughs> I don't want to be by the exit. But anyway, so we went to Vegas for a soccer tournament. JoJo played amazing. Last night, we get an email. He, get a, he got an uh, offer from a, from a college in Italy. They were like, we we saw Josiah playing because apparently you have Italy. to you have to you have to register each child for this tournament. It was a big tournament. All these Vegas teams, all these Arizona teams, all these California teams. Mm-hmm. His team didn't play well. He played amazing. He was distributing the ball. He was winning duels. He was passes were on point. He was black boy, black boy, fast boy, pass boy. That's why I do when he's fast. Like, oh, you fast boy, pass boy, black boy, black boy. Uh-huh. He was good black boy. Uh-huh. Like obviously good black boy, good player. You could tell. Mm-hmm. So this t- this 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 institute in Italy was like, hey, we 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 saw Josiah play. We want to offer him to finish his high school mm. in Italy. We are a feeder to Serie A. Serie A is the highest level professional soccer in Italy. It's like mm. the Premier League, but for Italy. Um, <clears throat> when y'all moving to Italy? That's well, never. <laughs> what do you mean? I said, I said, now Joe, I'm gonna tell you. This is how them them play them messies in them. This, this is when the, this, this is, is when how they, they get there. there. They yes. don't go to regular school, man. No, no. They, they, don't this, get, they don't get the call from ASO. Listen, in the in the academics part, they was like, we have the most impressive online thing for the school. Right, you ain't doing no cold word. In the hush. We is here to play soccer. Correct. We want to. You could go here to college. You can start here, finish high school here. We're like, Joe, you want to finish high school here? He was like, in Italy, no. I said, Joe, you said you wanted to go pro. Baby, this is even if you don't go to Serie A, if you're getting trained by it was like you wait for oh, coaches. Yeah. The you'll, coach you'll, of the school uh, is the MLS will pick you up easy. Yes. The coach of that uh school is the under 21 uh women's national team coach for Italy. Come yeah. on, man. And I said, Joe, even if you don't make it Serie A, you could be MLS. You could be there's four or five different leagues per country. He said, but A and T. That boy said. But but I have to live in Italy. I was like, child Bella, cuz. You're gonna have to live in Italy anyway. If you go to league, he, they, you're gonna be like, over there. He said for college, maybe. After college, certainly. But for high school, he was like, this is the funniest thing about the He's whole like, thing. But he said, What about Monty? I said, Oh, that's an American doll. <laughs> Y'all wouldn't have to take Monty. <laughs> Melissa was like, either we we all go to Italy or none of us go to Italy. I said, Listen, baby, I'm not going to Italy. I'll go to Olive Garden, but I'm not moving. He's the I'm, thing surprised, thing. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't say. But what about Zay's room? I was supposed to take Zay's room. I was talking to Zay. Zay was like, "I'm I'm going to college." And then I, as a parent, I was like, "You realize ah, what is happening? You don't have control over I, where your family splinters." This is what this is what's happening with Isaiah right now. This mm-hmm. is the first his his girlfriend and his college are the first things where our influence is just suggestion. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. To make that baby go to the college I want him to go to, there's nothing I can do. Like one, I, I'm you really, could, but you're not that type of parent. That's Facts. true. But actually, I think Isaiah, like the black community in his life, is heavy on the go to college. Just go to this college. <laughs> you got in, right? Uh, but I, it's 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 interesting as a parent to watch him be like. But this is what I want to do. This is what the college I want. I know it's attend. gotta be scary for him to be to absolutely to you all. One thousand, we're heavy. Melissa's is influence. I'm a big influence. So, but I was telling Zay, I said, you know, if we all move to Italy, you might as well be going to school away from home because you're gonna be all by yourself. He was like, y'all not finna, finna go for real. I was like, we might, you, but we probably won't. Oh. I, like, <laughs> I got stuff to do, and I, I can't do. Here's the thing on Italian time: the hotel Wi-Fi is bad, and then you gotta coordinate with Angel from across the. Uh, Crunchy, also, I don't want to live in Italy. You don't want to live? I said, Joe, go by yourself. He was like, no. Melissa's oh, Melissa like, would definitely be like, gone. I, but I was telling her, I was like, Christian Pulisic, he is one of the good American players. His whole family moved to Germany. When he got picked up to go train with a German team, his family, your family got to make the sacrifice if yes. they think you like. It's like a child actor. Yes. And Melissa was sacrificed. 
She would, and I would not. <laughs> no, y'all would just be, I'm, yeah, I'll be here with Zay. You go there with Joe. I told you, I said, Joel and B didn't pick up a basketball until he was like 15, 14 or 15, and he's the MVP now. I was like, you could, I'm not, I don't know how high you can go, but I tell you what, if you if you train at this school, your ceiling just got infinitely higher. So what would you do if he said, yeah? Mm. And I don't even know. You would go out there for three months. Well, he wants to go. There's a there's a summer program. You can go out there for like a week or two to train with the team just okay. to see, get a feel for it. And um, I would definitely go with him for that. Yeah. But if he was like September to May, I want to live in Italy and I need y'all to come. I'd be like, I got my own life. Daddy got to have a life too. I got too many things going on. I'm sorry. And I don't want Melissa to go. But I also don't want to be the reason he doesn't chase his dreams. So I'd be like, you want to go for real? Go be a man by yourself at 15. Live in Italy by yourself. You're going to be a man. When you come home, kids go to boarding school all the time. They do. Queen, the Queen of England's kids went to boarding school. I don't school. think there's no way that Melissa would not go if Joe there's said he no wanted to go. No way. I'm lying to you. You okay. want to tell me the biggest lie? <laughs> My baby go to Italy. I, we got to figure out the rest. I'm gonna Wait be flying minute. in from from is, Rome to do. Here's the thing. This reminds me of why we were sitting there in St. Louis. Me and Josh had a good chuckle about it. Oh man. We're sitting there at dinner. Kevin is like. I hope they coming home so <laughs> from Vegas. I hope my family's coming home so they can be home. And I said, why don't you just go to Vegas? Oh, man, nah. Somebody got to feed Monty. I was like, you can get somebody to feed Monty. Uh, no, Angel. I, I like, got to go home. We were like, Vegas is on the way home. Bring, bring, bring. <laughs> Kevin answers the phone, walks away. He's, he's doing the uh, lesion thing. I don't even know if anybody's <laughs> on the phone. He walks away. He comes yeah, back. Yeah, Jason, what's good, man? How's it going? You're right. He walks, <laughs> he walks back. Greg, I just changed my flight. I'm headed to <laughs> Vegas in the morning. They want you to change your flight, too. Uh, <laughs> me and Josh were like, could have sworn. I mean, it, but you guys, you have to understand, this is within a 10-minute span Everything of time. I say at the time, <laughs> I fully believe. <laughs> Melissa's like, we need you to come to Vegas for Joe's game. Okay. Yeah, it was. I'll be. It was so funny at how adamant he was. Hello. Look at him. It said he ain't talking to nobody on the phone. Yeah. Ain't nobody there. Ain't nobody there. It was so hilarious to see how quickly his tune changed as soon as what? Melissa. Soon as I get to Vegas. As soon as he got on the phone with his wife, everything. I, he had already changed his flight before I, he got back to Angel, the table. I put. I went on that little dining room, closed the door, put her on speaker. Hello? Yep. We need you to come to Vegas. All right. Southwest. <laughs> Southwest is the best airline for changing a flight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I changed that flight. Nothing really changed. All I changed is where I was going. I was leaving at the same time. <laughs> Greg was so mad at you. Man, why didn't you say no? I said, man. He said, yeah, you're going to need to change your flight. <laughs> we're, we're going to Vegas. <laughs> and even his son, the family, your daughter's already there. We was over there that next morning. That was what, midnight? We was hanging out probably 11 That was 11 o'clock. Yeah, and they no less than up. twelve hours. Greg I was on the side of the field in Vegas cheering for Georgia. Greg was like, "Well, I might as well get a drink." <laughs> yeah, they had to leave. They had to leave the hotel at three forty-five. Three forty-five. That's what also added insult to injury, which was hilarious. Is the fact that y'all we got to the airport and y'all hadn't even started boarding. We yet. walked by you guys at the gate. I was like, "Y'all should just came with us." When we got to the gate, Josh and Angel, it wasn't even the flight. The city wasn't even on, on there. The it just said Southwest. I said, well, dang. We, we had an early. hour and 15 minutes before we uh, boarded when we got to that We is early. We could have left with y'all and still been Oh, yeah. Y'all would have been just fine. Well, were we worried about St. Louis traffic at 4 a.m.? Mm, yes. Uh, on a Sunday? Anyway. Uh, that was pray hilarious. The Lord. Congratulations to I'm Joe. That's huge. Many, many more. Well, I'm sorry. What would you say? I said congratulations to Joe. That's huge. That's huge. I told him he was balling. He didn't want to believe me. He <laughs> thinks we're just being parents yeah and i'm telling you i be <clears throat> we're all biased yeah but i'm okay. like i you can now that i've been watching soccer for years and i've been watching like premier league i used to couldn't tell who's good in, if they're not scoring goals like or blocking if they're not the goalie or the striker i don't know how to tell now i can tell who is impacting the game even if no goals are scored you can see that and i'm like joe i'm telling you you are the best player on the field a lot of times. Mm -hmm. And the scouts came. I know they offering these scholarships to everybody. He was like, mm -hmm. do you have to pay for that? I said, boy, the Italian people would say, you come here, we give you money. Mm -hmm. you, he was like, dang. I was like, yes, dang. But also, nah. 
I'm so happy for him. All right, we love y'all. We'll see y'all Friday for the bonus. Oh my gosh, yes, Friday. Yeah, we'll and y'all filled up the yeah we're here. Y'all filled up the docket great. So there's a lot of fun stuff to talk about. Yeah, still. that we didn't even. Uh, uh, but who the f did I marry was taking out. Uh, was taking a lot of time. So we'll see y'all on Friday. Uh, Bald and beautiful, the Dirty D finale. No, it's is, not the finale. Oh, it ain't. No, we got we still got episode seven for next week. This is episode oh, okay. five and six. Anyway, ball and beautiful next. God bless y'all. God keep you. We'll see you in the comments. Bye, beautiful people. Cuddy. There's another thing of fire. There's another one. There's another thing of fire. There's another one. There's another one. There's another thing of fire. Fire. Here's another thing of fire With my boy Kev on stage And that chick angel